Hello, I'm Caroline, also known as Carnight. I've been experimenting with the new shader mixer feature in the new DAS Studio version 3 Advanced. First of all, I'm going to take you through creating this surface shader, the wood grain, on a simple cube. I'm going to create a primitive so we can apply the shader to it, a primitive cube. In the scene, I have a cube and I can select the surface of that cube using the surface selection tool. These are the parameters of the surfaces and I can change those so that I have a blue cube. With Shader Mixer I can create much more complicated surfaces. Click on View, Tabs, Shader Mixer and stretch it out. You need a big screen to use the Shader Mixer. Over here is a list of bricks and on the right these are bricks and you can drag each brick around and you can see that each brick is connected to another brick and you can build up very complicated shaders I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of simple ones close that up and the easiest way to start off creating a new shader is to use one that already exists so make sure the surface of the cube is selected and click on file from scene and OK now these two bricks are what this surface is made up of so you can see here the diffuse color is blue if I change that to be red and click OK apply that to the surface then the cube turns red and by adding and changing bricks I can change the surface of this cube click on preview and that gives us a preview of what the shader looks like without having to apply it to the surface to create a new brick, right click, insert brick, functions, and then you have all these wonderful patterns. Click on Carrara Marble and Preview. That's what the Carrara Marble pattern looks like. Connect it to the Diffuse Color node just by clicking and dragging and click on Preview over here and you can see that that's updated it's not red anymore, it's being overridden by this connection here. Click on Apply and you can see that the surface color of the cube has changed. You won't see the actual Carrara marble until render time. So let's just render that quickly and you can see that Carrara marble is now on the cube. It's currently black and white but we'll change that in a moment. Because this is black and white you can also use it as an opacity map. I'm going to disconnect here right click disconnect and click and drag that to opacity color preview you can see that the red color has come back click on apply and render and you can see that wherever it was black it's now transparent and that's taken from the Carrara marble this, wherever it's black it's transparent and wherever it's white it takes the diffuse color and that's quite an interesting in effect as we'll see later on to get two different colors we need a special brick called mix which is underneath the math menu insert brick functions math mix change the type of mix to be color because that's what we're dealing with and you can see the three parameters that we can change here alpha base and layer I'm going to change the base to be green and change the layer to be yellow Now I'll disconnect the opacity color and I'll just connect this brick to this diffuse color and click preview and you can see just the base color is being shown. This alpha, when you plug a brick into the alpha, whatever's black will show the base and whatever's white will show the layer. So when I plug this brick into the alpha parameter and click preview you can see that the green is taken wherever it's black and the yellow is taken wherever it's white and the red is ignored completely because it's overridden by this connection here now I can click on apply and render and, that, and you can see that that pattern is applied to the cube I'm going to close the Carrara marble and we've now just got the 
green showing. On the patterns menu there are a number of these patterns uh, for example checker which as you would expect is a checker pattern. If I apply if I connect this checker pattern to the alpha and preview over here you can see that the colors are reflected in a checker pattern. Other patterns include weave and spots and wood. Click on wood and that's what the wood looks like. Of course you can change all these parameters as well so you can completely customize your wood grain. Connect the wood brick to the alpha and preview and we now have green and yellow wood grain. So I can change the color to be something a little bit more sensible and click OK and preview and that's starting to look like wood. Click apply and render and there's a cube with wood grain on it. So a very easy wood grain shader using only two extra bricks, the mix and the actual wood grain. So the mix defines the colors and the wood grain brick defines where the colors go.